despite tremendous progress that's been made toward the Millennium Development Goals in India, 1.4 million children still die each year before they reach their fifth birthday. And maternal mortality rates are 14 times higher in India than they are in developed regions. So we launched the CamTech India program with support from USAID to drive technology innovation that can help save the lives of women and children in India and across the globe. CamTech has been able to stitch together a, a really diverse group of stakeholders, um, you know, across policy, large, uh, large scale healthcare providers, smaller scale healthcare providers, um, you know, universities, entrepreneurs. And, and they've offered something of value to each of them. So I think, I think it's, it's inclusive and yet it's disruptive. The power of CamTech is we're unleashing local innovation across a wide range of disciplines. So many programs bring ideas from top down, whereas we're trying to create an ecosystem where ideas come from, from students, from entrepreneurs, from the ground up. Clinical site visits are such an essential piece of this innovation process. It's where we have to get people from other disciplines, including designers and engineers and even entrepreneurs, to actually see the problems that are faced by clinicians and patients every day. And they ask a few questions why, and we've seen a lot of the problems that they identified just in the days before the hackathon move into the problems that they work on solving. I think one of the most powerful parts was watching the women who had come to the cervical cancer screening clinic sit together and talk. You can see that they had a very strong and tight-knit community and it just made me believe that uh, that sort of community outreach would be very effective. So what we're not doing is being a, an innovation engine that finds technologies and develops technologies and then goes out looking for a problem. Exactly the opposite, we want to start with the needs of the end user. So we have a clinical summit the day before, which is a mixture of different clinicians, healthcare providers, a few of the engineers and other people that are gonna be involved in the clinical summit to really start honing in on the challenges they face. We simply don't have enough doctors uh, in hard to reach remote areas, but what we do have and what we can have is innovation around training allied um, medical workers and health personnel. Welcome everyone. I have to say this is um, you know, indeed a pleasure for us to be able to host this. I think we get a lot of energy out of uh, being with others who find science and technology uh, a fascination. What can we do to empower patients to, have, to get information to them so that they can take the responsibility for their own health in hand? This is the challenge, the first challenge. Vartis Foundation has a prize for the best uh, proposal here for $1,000. The challenge uh, for the group is to develop a portable positive airway delivery device that can work on solar power and battery combined with a pulse oximeter. So I'm here uh, representing uh, App InBev, who is one of our sponsors, uh, to talk a little bit about their problem statement around road safety uh, for children. 2000 are where you make dreams come true and you start to realize there's a problem that you really want to tackle and you start to meet cross-disciplinary people and you have the right mentorship in the room and you start to hack uh, this problem and over over 48 hours you really come up with an impactful solution. Hacking throughout the night, lots of coffee, 
Lots of snacks, great lunch, and now you're feeling sleepy. Packing a baby book, but in reality, what we're really doing behind the scenes is tracking whether the child is meeting certain milestones. So post-hackathon, we really try to work on the question of what's next? How do we move these technologies forward? And what can we do to support the teams to make sure the technologies continue to grow? These two uh, uh, awards are going to be presented at the Fiji Heal Conference. Pitching, I almost pitched in like six ideas or so, back to back. I, and there were so many people around, you also will get a lot of creative ideas. And every time we are so focused, we're like the horse, closed face, you know. We just look at things, what's given to you. And we never, we never look into what opportunities we can always have. This opened my vision a lot.